Hello friends. Today I thought I would show you one of my favorite frugal or thrifty books. Um, this book is um, by Amy. Oh, I'm not going to be able to say her name right. <laughs> so let's just dive right into this. Um, this is the Complete Tight Wad Gazette. And she does give a little bit of caution um, that tight wads are by nature unconventional. We push the normal limits to make things last longer. Um, just as kind of a disclaimer, not everything in this book is going to be for you, but is packed with all kinds of ideas for you to try and hopefully um, gets the juices flowing and maybe you come up with some more um, budget-friendly ideas of your own. This book is actually made up of three different books and these books were are actually um, started with a newsletter called the Tight Wad Gazette. So each of the books is um, kind of a compilation um, and you might find something like quilting in one book and then an update to quilting in the other book. Um, so I think it's worthwhile just to kind of thumb through it page by page. That's how I love to, to go through this book. And what I'm going to show you is just some ideas and articles that caught my eye and hopefully it um, gives you a good idea to what these books are about. Um, here is a recipe for homemade granola. If you're a fan of granola and you're buying it at the store, this recipe is sure going to save you some money. Um, and you are going to find some unconventional ideas, such as squashing your toilet paper roll. A little bit unconventional. Um, but definitely worth a try if that's where some of your money is going. And there's um, an article on quilts if you are a crafty kind of person. And it even comes up with some really general kind of advice. Um, three ways to save and then what I really love is that it gives practical examples you know not not just giving you some some wisdom but actually telling you how you can put it into practice so that is that is why I really love love this book Um, and if you've never recycled your, your bags, um, this, this little article will surely be an eye-opener, how you can certainly save a little bit of money and the environment at the same time. And there is comics for, for your amusement. Um, and she even gives you a little bit of a a book review of of some somebody in in the past um, just to remind you these ideas are not you know new ideas they've been around a while but um, she doesn't necessarily that you run out and and get this book that she's suggesting but um, definitely an interesting book review And she covers so many different topics, such as kids' clothes and, and plastic lids. And let's see. Plenty of recipes. And if you're feeling really just daring homemade crackers definitely worth worth a try at least once let's see and 
I have I have tagged a lot of the recipes. I just I love all the recipes that that she gives in these in these pages. I think food is one of the biggest costs that we have and I was just so happy to see um, so many recipes. Easy, simple, and um, she does list some prices, um, but, but be aware this is not a recent book, so um, these prices might be a little bit outdated, but surely it's enough to give you an idea of how much you could save. And here's a section on chili. And once again, she's listing some prices um, that when, once again, you have to kind of um, engage with the current prices in the market, but just to give you a really good idea on how much you can save um, by cooking your own, or if you're really gutsy, dumpster diving. Not for everybody, but um, not all the ideas in this book are for everybody. But hopefully you find a, a few ideas that, that work for you and, and can be helpful. Um, there's a very long section on quilts, which if you're crafty, this is surely a way to, to um, save some money. Um, and this is a little bit of a current topic. Um, diplomas at a discount. Not all this is going to be accurate given the times, but definitely it should give you some ideas how you can save some money. And there's a section on braiding rugs. I have not tried braiding rugs yet, but definitely something to do on my to-do list. And the illustrations are just so fun. I do love the illustrations. Overall, the illustrations are fun, and I just love the, the variety of, of the articles. And I'm sure that no matter what you're into or where you want to save your money, you're going to find some, some ideas in this, in this very thick book. That is, um, it's the Complete Tightwad Gazette. And it is made up of three books. So definitely go and find this book at your, um, at your cheapest vendor. Amazon has used books as well as eBay's. And um, thank you for watching.